What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shantia, and I'm back with another banger, another word, okay? Now, listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, but first, I just want to say that the First Class Summit, my conference, is officially sold out in person, okay? However, if you still want to be a part of the conference, you can purchase your virtual ticket by visiting www.thefirstclasssummit.com. You will have access to the conference virtually on June 22nd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, so listen, child, make sure that you get into the room, tell a friend to tell a friend, schedule your watch party, whatever it is, you want to make sure that you are in the room. Okay, now listen, y'all, I have a quick word for y'all today. Oh, also, those that were asking about the sponsorship, I know some of you all said that the link was down, the link is back up. I will be sure to link it down below and pin it in the comments if you would like to be a sponsor for the first class summit. Now listen, y'all, the title of this video is called The Big Event, okay? It's called The Big Event, and the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about this word. This is a prophetic word. Like I always say, every word is not for everybody. Please take it back to God. You will always know if this word is for you. He will confirm it. And so listen, um, it's called The Big Event. And so as the Holy Spirit was speaking to me on The Big Event, I started to see things grow right before my eyes, okay? And so I started to see visions of places and spaces of people, like seeing a small room and it growing into this massive room. Like literally right before our eyes, things just started to grow and happen suddenly, okay? And so when I started seeing these visions, the Holy Spirit brought back the... Um, the scripture where it talks about when Jesus turned water into wine, okay? And so in that specific moment, um, the people that were with Jesus, the disciples, were able to see, okay, something grow. They were able to see something shift and change right before their eyes. They were able to see the impossible right before their eyes. And it happened, okay, during the big event. The big event was the party that was happening that night, okay, the wedding, the ceremony that was happening that night. And so listen, in John 2, 7, it says, Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water so they filled them to the brim okay now the part that stood out to me was the part that says so they filled them to the brim okay and so anytime come on holy spirit jesus is filling you to the brim okay anytime god is filling you to the brim that means that you are going to be completely satisfied completely satisfied and so if you have been in the season okay where well maybe you have not been satisfied or maybe you just haven't been you've been content but not too content because you understand that the place that you're in right now is temporary and you know god and you know our father and you know how he does business okay and you also know the life that he set before you and so you have not settled okay for sake you have not settled in this specific season because you know that this is just a pit stop okay right now god is saying that you are going to be completely satisfied when he does the impossible when he does this miracle right before your eyes okay that's what it means to be filled to the brim okay that's what i wrote down as full as possible okay as full as possible the joy that you have the peace that you will have the clarity that you will have the vision that you will have god is saying you're going to be as full as possible okay god is bringing you fulfillment thank you holy spirit you will have fulfillment which means every single day of your life will be purposeful and you will be fulfilled. You will be lacking nothing. You will not go to sleep, okay, um, praying and asking God for more peace or more joy or more happiness. You are going to be completely satisfied. And so this is what I wrote down. And this is what the Holy Spirit told me wrote down. So it says, there's a big event coming up that you may or may not know about. It's prophetic. Know about yet. God is saying, don't be afraid if you feel as though you don't have enough, okay? Your life and your experiences will be a testimony and a miracle to all who are in the room. You will have everything you need exactly when you need it, okay? Listen, this is for somebody, it's prophetic. I don't know what big event God is preparing you for. I don't know what big event is getting ready 
to um, hit your household. I don't know what big event you're getting ready to be invited to, but God is saying there is going to be a big event happening, okay? And it may look like you don't have the necessary tools or qualifications. It may look like you don't fit in the room. It may look like you don't belong, but God is saying the way that I am going to transform it right before your eyes, you will have exactly what you need when you need it, okay? Listen, child. Jesus came right in time. He didn't come at the beginning of the party when they were first serving. Jesus waited until they exactly needed that water to turn into wine. And, you know, it just shows the on-time God that we serve, okay? He didn't come a second earlier. He didn't come a second later. He came exactly when they needed it. And so this is what God is saying. And he also brought me back to, um, I think I said it on one of my videos a long time, but I'm going to just retell um the story i think i got it out of a book i can't remember but anyways it was a story about a son and a father okay and so it gave the analogy of this is what it looks like with god and us and so the son and the father were at a train station waiting for a train to come now the little boy had to be at least four or five years old okay and so this the father strategically did not give the son his ticket the son was asking for his ticket the father did not give him the ticket prior to the train arriving why because of he was not ready to receive that ticket or maybe the father just thought he wasn't capable of you know um holding on to that ticket or keeping it safe um while we're waiting for the train to come and so once the train arrived and they got to the doorstep of the train mm, holy spirit when they got to the doorstep of the train that is when the father handed the ticket to the little boy to hand exactly to the man to get onto the train and so that is what it looks like when god is an on-time god and that is also what it looks like sometimes when we want things too soon right the little boy was excited to receive this ticket right because he knew that he was going on a trip but his father knew exactly when to give the ticket he knew exactly when to give the ticket so that he would be able to keep that ticket safe so that he would be able to actually get on the train and go to where they need to go and so a lot of times we might be asking god for things prematurely okay but in reality when god gives us what it is that we're asking for or what we need for the next destination it's always right on time and he is a good father that he will not prematurely give you blessings or things because he wants you to be able to sustain those blessings. He wants you to be able to sustain the things that he's giving you so that you can actually get to the destination and the place that you desire, okay? So listen, child, I don't know who that was for, but that's a word for somebody. But anyways, I just wanted to get on here to give y'all a quick prophetic word to let you know that the big event is happening, okay? And you will have everything that you need exactly when you need it, okay? Now listen, y'all, if you haven't yet got your virtual tickets, go get your virtual tickets, okay? Get into the room. You need to be in the room. You need to be connected with the right people. You need to learn certain things which is faith and finances maybe you're struggling with relationships with unforgiveness towards your mom towards your dad maybe you're struggling with your business every single topic that you could possibly think of there is somebody in the room that is going to cater specifically to what it is that you need that is how divine god is okay the conference is a divine setup and so if you are ready to get up on this train and take flight and get to the next destination make sure you go get your virtual ticket today by visiting www.thefirstclasssummit.com. I'm super excited to see you all and I will see you all next time. Bye.